the Earth, a planet rich in diverse topography and stunning landscapes. Humans have been studying our home for generations, but for all we know, there is still much to be learned. New Zealand, a country located in the South Pacific Ocean, is home to unique landscapes and wildlife. But for all that is seen, much more is unseen. The islands of New Zealand comprise just a tiny part of the newest continent on Earth, Zealandia. 93% of this landmass is submerged, hidden under the waters of the Pacific Ocean. However, the continental mass the waters hide comprise an area of over 1.9 million square miles. Geologists from all around the world have descended upon the South Island of New Zealand in Fiordland National Park to learn more about how this continent came to be and when it formed. Facing treacherous conditions, these geologic trailblazers are scouring the environment, searching for answers, hoping to discover more about the history of Zealandia through the oldest rocks on this emerging continent. It's slippery, there's grass, there's steep slopes, and that's tricky. Through this journey, they will discover a history of fire, ice, and tremors, all making up the unique geology of Fiordland National Park. My name's Dr. Joshua Schwartz. I'm a geologist and professor at California State University, Northridge. I'm here in Fiordland, New Zealand, studying one of the most amazing and beautiful places on Earth. The geologic history of Fiordland National Park goes all the way back to the supercontinent Gondwana. And Gondwana was an amalgamation of continents that consisted of the southern continents, South America, Australia, Antarctica, and ultimately the newest continent on Earth, Zealandia. These continents were together in one large landmass, approximately 120, 110 million years ago, Zealandia started to break away from Gondwana and form its own continent. And this is the continent that we're studying here in Fiordland National Park. I'm here studying the geology of a deep crustal magmatic arc system. One of the things that makes Fiordland National Park so amazing and beautiful to study is that it exposes a continental margin magmatic arc at a variety of different levels, from the shallowest levels where there were sedimentary rocks forming in the Cretaceous, down into the mid-crustal levels, and then all the way down into the deepest parts of a magmatic arc system. And it's here that we can see the plumbing system of how volcanoes were fed magmas deep from within the Earth, ultimately to the surface. The unique structure of this continental arc system exposes various geologic levels that can be studied by scientists. This dissected continental arc was created by a unique set of conditions through the interaction of the Pacific and Indo-Australian tectonic plates, creating a variety of conditions including subduction leading to volcanism and the processes of continental creation geologists are studying today. Called the Zealandia Cordillera, it exposes areas of crustal rock that formed at various times at the surface, making this kind of research possible. In regions of Fiordland National Park, you can study shallow depth crust from around 0 to 10 kilometers depth. Others, areas of the middle crust around 10 to 25 kilometers depth, and still others, the deepest crust of 25 to 65 kilometers depth. This unique exposure of different levels of the crust in an ancient arc allows us to investigate how and when continental crust was created and how molten rock travels through the crust from the deepest levels to the surface. My name is Harold Stowell and I'm a metamorphic petrologist from the University of Alabama. Fiordland's a really wonderful place to study these kinds of processes. It's one of maybe three places in the world where we can see deeply exhumed magmatic arcs that are very clearly part of a mountain building event along the edge of a continent. And so we see all the processes that occur along these continental margins. I try to understand them in, a, in the sense of 
understanding the temperatures, pressures, and time at which they form. It's not just the influx of magmatic activity through volcanism that creates the unique conditions found in Fiordland National Park. As to build up and break down mountains, you need to shake things up. Rifting from earthquakes along major fault lines across the continental arc have helped create this picturesque landscape. Here in Fiordland National Park, we're looking at the roots of an ancient mountain belt. If you imagine about 120 million years ago and before, this was an Andean margin. In fact, it looked like the Andes today. There were probably mountains thousands of meters high. Now we're seeing the roots of those mountains because they've been eroded by both an, a combination of the glacial activity, but more importantly, extension or when Zealandia broke away from Gondwana, a number of faults, like normal faults, accommodated that extension and led to the collapse of that mountain belt. Here in Fiordland National Park, we can directly observe the faults in the deepest parts of the crust that accommodated that extension, that pulling apart of Zealandia from Australia and Antarctica, when they were part of the continent Gondwana. My name is Keith Kleppeis. I'm a professor at the University of Vermont. And my area of specialty is uh, structural geology and tectonics. And the problems I like to work on especially are how mountain ranges form. And they form in different ways. And Fjordland, the place we're standing in now, is unique. And it offers a really great opportunity to understand how mountains form and also how they disappear. So when you look at mountain ranges in general, one of the things that's really interesting about it is that they are sort of like icebergs. Uh, they look impressive at the surface, but it turns out the majority of what holds up mountains is within this giant root, which extends down into continental crust. And if you really want to understand how mountains form, you need to look at this root and look at how geological processes like forming magma or flowing in movements created some of these mountains. So Fjordland is unique on the planet because it turns out that what has happened is this thick root that holds up mountains has been thrust up to the surface. And that's really unusual and geologists can walk around on the surface and examine the sorts of things that happen very deep inside the earth. And one of the greatest discoveries uh, we found in, in recent years is that this large slice of the deepest parts of this root, which are off to the west, are bounded by a very large fault. And the kind of fault that we have found is called a thrust. And what it does is it moves deep rocks and places them up over shallow rocks. The Alpine Fault lies to the west of Fiordland National Park. It is a strike-slip fault along the tectonic boundaries of the Indo-Australian and Pacific plates. Much like what we see in California with the San Andreas Fault, where similar processes are at work, where the Pacific plate meets the North American plate. This has fractured the Earth, creating thrust faults like the misty thrust that separates western and central Fiordland. Periods of magmatism created the continental crust of Zealandia. Earthquakes and faults have helped build mountains and tear them apart. Yet this still doesn't tell the full story of why Fiordland National Park is such a unique place for these geologists to study. Over millions of years, as this process has unfolded, vast swings in the Earth's climate have occurred. Through cooler periods of glaciation, the area that encompasses Fiordland National Park has been first-hand witness to the transformative power of ice. Present-day subduction along the western margin of Fiordland in the South Island of New Zealand is currently uplifting this area. And during the last glacial period, glaciers developed in the high altitude regions of this part of Fiordland National Park. And essentially, they moved down from high elevations to lower elevations. And as they went, they carved their way, essentially sculpting this landscape that we see that consists of a, a tremendous amount of new geologic features like tarns or ancient lakes, arets, hanging valleys, and of course, cirques that used to house glaciers. Fiordland National Park on New Zealand's South Island gives geologists a rare window into the processes at work deep inside the earth. It is a story written in fire, ice, 
and tremors, a story yet to be completely told. For as they venture through remote areas of this magnificent place, there is still much to discover. As their journey goes on, they will continue to search for answers, hoping to unlock the mysteries of Zealandia, the Earth's newest continent.